Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I am sending you lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Um, so there's this experience I had a couple of days that I think is very imperative or applicable to a situation, the situation I've been reading on, because I've been picking up on like a empress energy where you just have a lot of people coming after you. You could be a masculine, you could be a woman, it doesn't matter. Where you've just had a lot of people coming after you, collaborating to destroy you and things like that, right? And you could be someone that's very beautiful, someone that's very down to earth, very humble, maybe like a powerhouse or something like that. Very wise, uh, knowing, just very humble and down to earth, right? Um, there's something where it is that there has been some type of wounding uh, that people have been trying to do to you. And this is by attacking, like uh you in different ways they're creating some type of scarcity energy around you so you feel like uh you're either not good enough you're never going to have this you're never going to achieve this nobody's interested in what it is you do and by some type of miracle you've made it through some type of situation you're at the end of a karmic cycle um so the other day i was walking by and i feel like you know when you go through something like that no matter how kind or pure hearted you are, no matter how beautiful you might be, uh, no matter how powerful you may be, right? At some point, we're all going to uh, uh, find ourselves in a place where we'll need some type, we'll need healing or we'll need the grace of God to get us out of there or something like that, right? So the other day I was walking to the library with my daughter, right? And we um, see this butterfly is flopping around in the grass. But it's flopping around and it's not really getting far. Um, so what I ended up doing, the butterfly didn't seem hurt, but it just seemed like something was off. Um, it just seemed like it, it wasn't like it was flapping its wings and things like that, but it wasn't going as going far. It wasn't going like typically it would. All right. So I may even post a, a photo of the butterfly on the community post. I may not. I'll see if I can. Um, so the butterfly is laying in the grass and it's flopping around. It'll fly a little bit and then flop back down, fly a little bit and then flop back down, fly a little bit. So I'm watching this. I'm like, mm, something is not right about that. Like that butterfly is maybe it's injured or maybe there's something that's holding it back or maybe there's something wrong with it. I don't know what's going on. So I went ahead and put my finger in front of the butterfly and it got on my finger. I put it on the back of my hand, uh, I actually, I had folded my hand and it climbed on the back of my hand and it just laid there resting. It's almost as though this creature was ready for this journey that it was about to go on on my hand. So I put the, so I, I did my hand like this. It gets on the back of my hand and we're walking because I realized if I leave the butterfly there, it's more than likely going to not make it. So I need to take it to a place where there's flowers, there's pollen uh it can you know have food and things like that so i put the butterfly on the uh, on my hand we were walking 10 minutes i think i carried it for maybe 10 minutes trying to find the perfect uh flower bed or the flower garden to put the butterfly in but i just remember it kind of took me off guard because you know typically situations like that you pick up a creature like that or you're carrying a creature like that it'll be trying to fly away but this butterfly they didn't try it like it just laid there it opened its wings and I carried the butterfly for 10 minutes. And I just found it interesting. It's it's almost as though this this th th this creature was like ready for the journey. Like it was like, oh, thank you. I've been waiting for you. Something like that. Uh, I was a little hesitant to even pick it up because it's like, here I am a giant. So probably this, that's probably how it sees me, like a giant picking it up and I'm expecting it to be afraid. But no, it got on my hand. Got real comfortable, sat on there, and we went on the journey. I ended up finding like this really beautiful uh, 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 
flower bed in front of the, this these wealthy people's home. Hope I went to the library. I said, sure. This looks like a beautiful beautiful place to put you. They look like they took care, take care of their their uh, their flowers and their garden, their lawn and whatever, their grass. So you should be happy right here. So I went ahead and put the butterfly there uh, so that it could have access to food and, you know, have a really good place, a beautiful, you know, setting and things like that. And it was symbolic to me in the sense that, you know, sometimes we're going through stuff uh, and we may, <laughs> you're going through like a really horrendous uh, situation and you're trying your best to make it out of there, right? You may have, maybe maybe it's something that's like a, 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 a natural uh, journey that you're going through, right? Or it's something maybe people are doing to you and they're trying to keep you down or something like that. And it can have a lot, a lot to do with maybe who you are, what you have, how you look. Because I, I remember when I saw the butterfly, the first thing that I thought was, that's such a beautiful creature. Oh my goodness, it is so, like I kept looking at it and just admiring how beautiful it was. And I forgot what type of butterfly it is. I'll look it up and try to put it on there when I, when I post it. But I kept thinking, wow, what a beautiful creature. So little, but just so perfect. Uh, just just very beautiful, right? Um, and I kept hearing that word beautiful, beautiful. And I feel like maybe there's something where you, whoever you are in this situation, your beauty may play a role into why people are coming after you. Um, and it's not something you can help. Maybe you are someone that is of a specific complexion because I've been picking up on that in these reads where it said people are coming after you maybe because you're a specific complexion, something you can't help. Maybe you're very beautiful, something you can't help. And I don't, I don't think you would even want to help that if you could. Uh, but even though you are, I don't think that's the reason why, like, People should be coming after you, right? But the what I found symbolic is that I was taking this butterfly from quite a sad situation to something very beautiful, something very abundant, okay? Think of going from like the, you remember good times? Going from that kind of situation to like going to like Beverly Hills. It's basically what I did for this butterfly. I took the butterfly out of good times and put her or him or it into uh, Beverly Hills or something like that. So somebody is about to be going through some type of transition. So there may be some type of unexpected assistance that's coming your way. Um, maybe spiritually you are expecting this, especially the fact that I've been picking up that you're a high priestess. I feel like you're expecting this transition, this assistance, this journey to take place. Um, so it's something that's coming up and it's going to come from it come when you least expect it is what I'm being told to tell you. Um, but I just really found that symbolic in how the butterfly is here. I guess minding this business is not, you know, bothering anybody. It's trying to figure things out. Is that how do I get out of this grass? Every time I get up, there's something that's holding me back or something, or I'm not getting as far as I need to go. And then, you know, someone comes along and you don't, maybe you don't even know who this person is because I doubt this butterfly knows who I am. I'm sure it knows who I am now since we had some type of interaction spiritually. We, it knows me. Um, but somebody comes along and oftentimes it's not somebody you're related to. It's not somebody you're familiar with. It's always typically strangers that will come and help you while family and friends are watching you be torn down or watching you, you know, uh uh basically suffer or something like that and they don't care right so sometimes it'll be a stranger that'll come in you know say hey let me help you get here or let me do this for you this is how you do this or something like that so something is about to be balanced out for you but it may come from an energy maybe one you're not expecting to do it or two you just don't know who it is and when it's going to be done but something will be changing in your life oh i'm so glad i split my deck and it and, and it split on the world and you are going to be victorious and you're going to be healed, having some type of new beginning and things like that. Uh, so just thread with caution, okay, uh, that you are not in a place of a, a mindset of destitute, a mindset of like, a mindset of deplority, because I think this is what people have been trying to project on you and make you think that that is your final destination. That is not your final destination. You have a calling on your life. The universe is not going to put you <laughs> on this planet so that you can live in destitute. There's a reason why people are trying to what, stop you, stop your upgrade, stop your healing, okay, stop your choices. 
block you from having options, trying to block you from being abundant, people investing in you, you being business savvy and things like that, you being wholesome. Uh, there's a reason why people are to going out of their way to stop all of those things in your life. Like I say on my channel, robbers, they don't rob empty houses, okay? And nobody's going to go break in a house that they know is empty to steal. What are you going to steal? The air? The moisture? What are you going to steal out of there? Nothing, right? So people breaking into your home metaphorically is because they know you are abundant. It's kind of like I had that uh, uh, dream of someone pretending to be me to get some type of spiritual... Uh, 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 they're trying to get some type of money, abundance, but in my name. And luckily, I was there to let them know, hey, 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 that's not me. I didn't ask for no amount of money like that because I saw somebody's spiritual, um, some, their, their spiritual uh, uh, balance. It says somebody wants to go in and say, oh, you know, like this is me. I am this person and they're trying to take money. It may be something that's... Uh, that someone is planning as well. Where is that they, they want to go in and pretend to be you at the bank to take money out of your account. And it's something that's going to backfire. So it's that somebody wants to take steal money out of your account and tell the bank that, that they have permission to have that money. But they don't have permission to have that money. So it's that when somebody goes to do something, someone may try to steal out of your bank account, right? It's not going to go like they plan because there could be some type of security. So... What's going to happen is something's going to backfire. Someone may end up getting locked up and going to like jail and things like that. And they're going to have to pay you back that money if they end up getting it out. But like you could even be somebody that has like a, a ID on file. So when you go to the bank, people know exactly who you are. And so like if somebody else go in and pretending like it's you, uh-uh. You know it's not they, they know it's not you. You have something on file that shows who you are. So just be very cautious. There's, there's some there's something where people are trying to put you in some type of horrendous situation where it's like it's like they don't want you to have finances so you're not able to get yourself out of situations. They want to deplete you of your resources. So what they're doing is trying to deplete your bank account so that you can't get yourself out of out of situations if something comes up. Like you don't have any emergency funds or things like that to be able to take care of situations. So whatever this person is planning on doing, like somebody is planning on going to the bank to pretend to be you so that they can withdraw some type of money. And I don't know if a bank teller is going to act like they don't know it's not you or whatever. And it's going to backfire on both of them. Okay? Because this is going to lead to some type of ending for somebody. And I mean like out of here kind of ending. Because there's something behind the scenes where people don't realize it's a lot more serious than they're taking it for. Okay? So you could have somebody trying to do that. Because I just remember in that dream, the person is trying to say like, oh, I, I'm trying to get this out of the account. And like, I'm there like, oh yeah, that's not me. I didn't ask for that. So I don't know what the heck this is, but that's not me. Right? Something like that. I don't know if somebody's trying to steal. Obviously, you're trying to steal, but... It's going to backfire. You may not want to. Is that somebody is trying to orchestrate something about your bank account? And they're trying to keep it under hush. That we're going to go to the bank. We're going to send this person that looks just like them. Oh, nobody look like you. We're going to send this person that looks just like them. And they're going to sign uh, 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 sign, the, sign um, the, the documents. And we're going to get the money out of their account and things like that. And they won't be able to pay uh, to, when things happen. If they have anything going on, they're not able to pay to get themselves out of it. Something's about to backfire. It's about to backfire. Anyways. Let's go ahead and get into this tarot read. That was a very long explanation. So, okay. You got people collaborating. I don't know if they're trying to balance something out for a community or a couple or people or whatever this is. A queen of swords. You could be the queen of swords. You may have spoken some type of truth um, about a situation or a queen of swords is speaking the truth. Confessing about something they've been doing when it comes to you being seen, you being heard and things like that. Uh, maybe... A, a, a group of people are working together to balance something out. It could be some type of communication coming towards you. Uh, people have been collaborating with a queen, king of cups uh, behind the scenes. Now, I don't know if this is someone that's in the upright. Oftentimes, when I see something where it's that people collaborating with another person, my ears, my antennas always like perk up. Is that what are they talking about? So, I think what it is is that they're collaborating with this king of cups uh, to send him into your energy uh, to give you some type of offer. 
Um, yeah. They're trying to send him in to give you some type of offer to keep you from doing what it is you're doing. Okay, they're trying to stop some type of union from coming in for you. So they may want him to come in. This person may not even have any type of financial stability and things like that. They're sending him into a king of pentacles. And his purpose is to manipulate this king of pentacles to not work with an empress energy. So he's going in to cause some type of illusion uh, to somebody. Is that, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this person, but this is who they are. You want to be careful uh, of what it is you're doing with this person. And this is all to manipulate him about an empress energy, like I said. Now, this king of pentacles... Uh, it's someone that is healing, someone that's going through the healing process and things like that. So he may be someone that's very much uh, intuitive, so you'll look into something. So this is not someone where it's like they're going to tell him that the empress is not an empress. And he's going to be like, oh, well, the, they said the empress is not an empress. So I'm not even going to talk to this empress. I'm just going to leave this empress out in the cold. I'm just going to reject this person. They're not genuine at all. No, this man is going to look into something. The very act of this king of cups coming towards this emp or emperor or this king of pentacles is going to be alarming for the king of pentacles. Because it's like, uh, why are you coming to me with this? What's your purpose? Like, he may even look at this King of Cups as somebody that's very insecure, okay? On the other hand, because mm, 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 I've been picking up on quite a lot, you got a King of Cups and a King of Pentacles that will be having some type of uh, legal issues coming in for them. There's something they've been doing, uh, and they've overindulged, and they're like, they've gotten carried away. So you got a King of Pentacles that's been... I don't know if like they're blocking you, stopping you, doing, destroying you or something like that. And then you got a king of cups that's doing the same thing. So it's like you have two people that have been overindulging in something. They've both been taking reckless actions and things like that. So maybe those, I don't know if they're getting to a point where they're starting to reconsider something. Like they shouldn't be doing something. Maybe they're not happy about what it is they're doing or some, or one of them is unhappy about what it is they've been doing. Uh, so there could be some type of balance that's brought into the situation, okay? Uh, there's some type of communication coming in. Um, I don't know if this is about a queen of pentacles reverse. This woman keeps coming out reverse, 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 and it's very alarming. Like every freaking spread, she's coming out reverse now for the past few days. So someone is very unhappy behind the scenes, could be losing her temper, 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 temper. She's losing her temper uh, behind the scenes about you. You being uh, balanced, you being solid, you being secure. Uh, maybe trying to figure out how it is that you're getting out of a situation because somebody has been trying to destroy you um, very, like, intensely, intently, okay? So, I don't know, like, what this has to do with... Um, but it, it, it's just, it, this is very, like, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Something is very crazy. This is very crazy. I don't know if she's trying to send you communications. She's trying to block somebody from uh, 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 working with you. Uh, I, I don't know what this is. Like, they're taking in some, taking some type of impulsive action. It's like I lost my train of thought right there. Did you guys get that? Like, there's something this woman is doing she does not want out. There's some type of impulsive action that's been taken against somebody's work. They don't want you working. They don't want you uh, committed to something you are doing, okay? Uh, so she hired, I believe, a king of pentacles. Uh, there's been a king of cups, too, that's been doing work on you. You got quite a few people working on you and against you. It's not just one person. Oh, yeah. Okay, working hard to confuse people, confuse you, isolate you, uh, put you in a scarcity mindset and things like that. So, I don't know what the heck this is, but something is, is going to backfire horribly as well. I don't know why I keep hearing something about a bank. There's some type of, some type of fraudulent activity that's about to take place on a bank account. And this is supposed to be like a secret or something. Like, hush, nobody, don't don't tell anybody. We're going to go to the bank and they're in on it. They're going to, uh, you know, we're going to withdraw this money. We're going to move their money and things like that. And, you know, they're not going to be able to pay off this whatever or whatever. Nah, it's not going like you think. It's not going like you think. You may not want to do that. And there's a bank teller that may be in on it. <laughs> 
Better lose that job and get arrested. Better get fired and arrested. That Beyonce say, hey, hey. Somebody's getting fired. Hey, hey. <laughs> Just too much. Yeah, too much. Just too much. They're working really hard. Yeah, these people are working really hard to have you left out in the cool, taking a lot of impulsive action. We got the freaking Knight of Swords to the Eight of Swords. I mean, the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Working really hard to isolate you and have you out in the cool from love, from new beginnings, uh, from the truth, from being able to meet with somebody. I don't know why a lot of old folks are this uh, uh, invested in you, your life path and things like that. Baby, we're all too old out here to be doing all this nonsense. And this all has to do with money. With money. Yeah, trying to steal from you. Then I say something about stealing. Like, they're watching your money, which means that they, they have invaded your privacy. They have access to your banks and things like they're watching every time you deposit money in there or take money out. So they know what's in there. So they're trying to send somebody in to go and take your money out, and it's going to backfire. Like, this is something where it's that people go and take your money out, and then, you know, you go in there and you find out because the authorities is a problem. Like, they already have somebody on the camera they said, oh, we thought that was you. No, you didn't think that was me. You got paid to take that money out and give it to somebody that you knew was not me. You getting locked up. Like, they know exactly who you are. It's like a bank. You've been with a bank for like 13 years or something, and they want to act like they don't know who you are. <laughs> and they got an ID on file. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. This family is very wicked. This is a very wicked family. Very greedy. Very jealous. Just trying to figure out how they can steal from people. Maybe trying to steal from a couple as well. I don't know who this couple is. But it's a family. There's a queen of pentacles trying to steal from a family. There is a queen of pentacles trying to steal from a family. So you all may want to be watch out for her. Queen of pentacles reverse. Trying to steal from a family. And she's confident that she can get away with it too. This is something this woman has been planning for a long time with a group of people. She, they, they think that they are on the same page with this woman. Nah, this woman is playing chess. Y'all yeah, playing checkers. She's playing chess and you all are playing checkers. She's trying to steal from an entire family. So they think that they are in cahoots with her. They're on the same page. Nah, sisters. Sister done check make you all a whole long time ago. <laughs> Trying to steal from a whole family or an institution and things like that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, they want you out in the cold, but they say you come in. You, as soon as you get out in the cold, you're going to be meeting somebody and out of the cold. <laughs> Listen, source just be like, nah, we got back up. We got back up. <laughs> we got back up. They're trying to steal, and what I'm also hearing is that they're trying to steal like a ten of cups. They don't want two people together, together. They don't want two people happy. They don't want two people fulfilled, building a family, having a calm and balanced life. You know, that, that, that quiet life. You come home to the wife and kids, husband and kids or something like that. And everybody's happy. Life is not perfect, but for, for the both of you, it, it's close to it. It's dang near perfect, okay? Um... All you need is for the haters to stay at your business and it'll be 100% perfect. It's something like that. You know? Basically, I don't know who's, who's this is about to have this, but congratulations. This is what dreams are made of. Most people don't even have that. And you you, pull, you two are going to have like a 10 of... Oh, listen. A t it's you and your emperor. You and your emperor. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, you're coming together with your emperor. And people are worried, they're burdened. It's a high priestess reverse. This is a queen of swords reverse. Just projecting a lot of energy because that's all she knows how to do. <laughs> that's her only talent is to project and manipulate and create scarcity tactics. Don't got no real gifts. That's her gifts <laughs> to, to, to project and create scarcity tactics. It's like, no, I don't want her to feel like he likes her. I don't want him to feel like she likes him. Make them feel like they are unwanted. Looking like a maniac or the maniac that she is. 
This is a mini act that's tutoring people from behind the scenes, telling them what to do. This is how you crash this. Uh, this is how you temper with their emotions. This is how you keep a, a, a B resting face while you're lying to them. And uh, this is how you blah, 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 blah. This is how you act like you don't know what they're talking about. This is a bitter, insecure woman that's doing it. Don't got nothing going on in her life. So, you know, she's made it her full-time job to be uh, the bearer of bad news and things like that it's just sad and pathetic aren't you anyways uh whatever this collaboration is i don't know if these people are collaborating against a couple it seems like it this this, this collaboration against this couple it ain't coming into no type of good fruition for you or it's gonna backfire heavily they're trying to sabotage somebody's confidence an e uh oh email i was gonna say email oh okay there's something about email so maybe somebody is trying to email you and it's being sabotage, or maybe this queen of source emperor uh, high priestess reverse energy is trying to send you some type of communication to uh, um, have you living in fear, anxiety, like something bad has happened. Something bad is going to happen to you. You are rejected. Nobody wants you. You, you got to people like that. You got to feel sorry for them. Cause like you don't see anything wrong with you taking time out of your day to, try to make somebody feel like uh unwanted you don't see that you're the problem like something is wrong with you okay okay well it's okay honey it takes people some a little bit of time to catch up to common sense but i mean you, you probably don't have any because if you did you wouldn't be participating in this nonsense um but since you are here we are um, so this, this woman is doing a lot of projection. She wants to send you some type of communication basically to confuse you. She wants you to feel like you're unwanted. This man is not interested in you. This man has rejected you. This meeting with this person is never going to happen. This king of pentacles or whoever this is, is not coming towards you. He changed his mind. He doesn't want to work with you. Baby, let her say whatever she wants. If I was you, I wouldn't even open the email. If you see it, it comes in. Because somebody is trying to craft something in a way where it looks like it's coming from a different company or a different person, but it's really her. So, just be careful. You read the first couple of lines, it sounds like nonsense, delete it, and move on with your life. It's something like that, okay? Because obviously, she don't got no life. Because you, you, you have to not have a life to commit your time to things like this. Where is that? I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to send her this email. I'm going to project a lot of negative energy to her. And she's going to, you know, be confused so that when he comes to her, she's going to reject him. And it ain't going to happen. So it's like, I don't know why you got this much time to waste. Uh, you should, at your age, you should have better things to be indulging in. Okay. I don't know who this reversal lady is, but baby. Mm, 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 mm. I feel sorry for people like you because it's like you... You grow up and just never learn the lessons you're supposed to in life. That you're so, I don't know what happened to you to become what it is you are, but I, I feel sorry for you and the people that act like you. It's really sad. It is really, really sad. I feel sorry for you. I hope you find healing someday where you don't think like what you think of other people are so important that it's going to change how they view themselves and things like that. Maybe you're under some type of illusion that what you do works. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it works on the people around you. <laughs> Maybe you're under a, an illusion that it worked on somebody. This will be something where this woman thinks that what she's doing works. Uh, maybe it's worked on people before, so she thinks it's working on you. Or maybe she felt that it worked on you before, when maybe all you did was just stay silent and let her make a fool out of herself. I don't know what this is, but this is the woman, this king of sword, this queen of swords. She's the one that teaches people. This is someone that considers herself to be a practitioner or something. She is not a practitioner. This is someone just playing dress up. Like if there was, if it was Halloween, this is the person that would put on the Halloween outfit that's a high, that belongs to her. like the she would put, she would dress like a high priestess basically because. <laughs> Everybody wants to be the high priestess, but everybody hasn't done the work to be the high priestess. This is someone in this is someone that's very dark. Just does a lot of manipulation. There's a difference between having gifts and being manipulative. Manipulation is not a gift. It means you you need help. You need mental help. Serious mental help. Okay? Cause who you mean you tell me you woke up to to do what? Okay. Okay, this could even be somebody that said they didn't they, they didn't know where you were, 
They didn't know you because I see the Ace of Swords to the Page of Swords. Party said they didn't know who you were. They didn't know you had a platform. They didn't know you were on social media and things like that. And here it is. They're confessing that. Oh, yeah, I watch her. I know where she is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Go over here. Send this email to her. Uh, blah, 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 blah. He said, wait, I thought you said you didn't know who this woman was or where this woman was or that she was on social media. That she was in. Like, oh, the truth's coming out. This is a source that's been coming out a lot. The, the, the truth is coming out. Oh, it's coming out. They're working, and they are working hard. It's a King of Pentacles reverse somewhere working real hard to have you just, just feel, just scared, afraid, and just confused, and just, they want you playing the victim, but you won't play the victim because that's not your role to play. And honey, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.